Hi, I'm Maggie from Maggie'sCrochet.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to sew an applique to a background. So in this um, Critter Caboose Afghan, which is one of our new designs, I'm going to um, show you how to sew on with uh, by using the owl. So I take a yarn that is the same exact color or something like super close so that you don't see any of the stitches um, after I sew it on. So then I cut a long strand. I want to go around here about twice in length. Um, I'm just trying to judge how much um, yarn I'm going to need. So this is plenty right here. And then I take, um, I have a regular yarn needle with a big eye in it. And I fold the end of the yarn over the side of the eye of the hook. And I pinch it real tight. And then I open up my pinch fingers. And I slide, slide that fold through the eye of the needle like that. So then I can pull... I can pull the yarn strand down, not quite halfway, but I have the um, yarn folded. So this is my end right here. So I will go on the wrong side of my applique. And I let's say I want to start right here. Well, I'm going to go a little ways behind it here and bring my needle into that spot where I want to start. So this is kind of this needle kind of has a blunt end on it and I like sharp ends because it'll uh, I could go through there a lot faster. So I'm going to go underneath that many stitches. It's probably about an inch and a half and this is where I want to start. So I came in behind that. So then I'm just going to very slowly pull this through. And then I want to make sure it stops right there at the end. And if I pulled fast, it would come through. So right where it came out, I want to lock that, secure that with a couple of um, stitches. Just make sure you're doing this on the wrong side. Okay, so now I'm ready to... Um, get this little owl attached. So now I'm going to come um, from the wrong side here to the right side. And where I came out, I am going to go back in real close to where I came out. So I'm kind of like on the side of this right here. So I can, I came out right here, so I'm only going over like maybe an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch over. And then I'm going to go back down to the wrong side. And I'm going to make sure that I catch the bottom piece, because if I don't, it won't, um, you know, be attached. So I'm going to make sure I do that. And then I'm going to come up back through both thicknesses, the background and the owl, about another inch and a half out towards the ear here. So I'm going to come back out like this, pull that strand through, and see right there you can't even tell there's a little stitch there and that's what you want. So now I came out here and I'm going to go back down real close to where I came out. I would normally have this on my lap and be able to see it better. So I'm going to go real close to where I came out and then I'm going to come back out another inch and a half out. And I just want to lightly tack this all the way around. And I'm going to leave my ears um, unattached because I think it adds a little, um, you know, a little feature to your um, piece that's kind of, um, it gives the piece more life more life looking. Now another thing you could do is come up um, like go f grab it from behind like this and then hold your hand in the back and use your, ha your hand in the back to kind of uh, work the needle. Like right here I'm going to go back down here. I'm going to go about an inch and a half. So in the back I'm pushing my needle with my finger right here to come to the front. 
and then that way you make sure that you're going through both thicknesses. So I'm going real close to that. I'm going to go back down, come back out right here. And this is just a simple um, basting that I'm doing. You could, after you do um, several stitches, you could, um, at, like at this point, I might want to come back here and do one more stitch just to um, lock it right there, secure it so it doesn't pull out and then just continue all the way around your piece like that and that's how I do it so I guess another way too you could do it is if you wanted your pieces to um, you know your strings not to show in the back you could just grab the front of the crochet stitch like right here and not go all the way to the back and then go here and then go to the front of that instead of going all the way to the back and then come forward like that that might be a better way to do it so you don't see anything on the back side and another thing you could do instead of going forward the eighth of an inch you could come back a little bit here and then you could just push this forward and instead of going all the way to the back just bring it through like right like that and then bring it forward like that and then that way it's actually a better way I think because then you don't have um, the seams across the back showing so right here is where I made the lines across the back and then right here you can't see anything so you can't see anything on the front or the back so I think ideally this is the better way to go so you just have to uh, go underneath it from the from the front side from the right side of your background just as long as you're catching something there there you go so when you come all the way back around just um, go over it a couple of times to secure it but that's how you um, sew like an applique to um, the background. And I hope this helps you to master the art of crochet. And I hope that you subscribe to our channel and visit us at maggiescrochet.com. Thank you for watching.